All right, cool. On to the next one. Hold on, let me. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the thing for the next next one. Uh, so that well, I've got at least how many see. Okay, there's two secrets. So we know how there's two secrets on the next mission. I'm not gonna look where they're at yet, but I just wanted to see where they were or see how many there are. Sweet Jesus Christ, Henry's come to see us. Thank the fucking Lord. Oh my God. All right, anyway, next mission. I'm not surprised that the mechanists aren't the saints they claim to be. No one in the city is but at least they've done me the favor of recording the incriminating meeting they had with Sheriff Truart. That recording should let me exert a little pressure on Truart to find out who hired him to kill me. But I'll have to acquire it first. The mechanist put the recording in a safety deposit box earlier today, but since I have a copy of the key, I should be able to open it. It didn't take much to learn that the mechanists do all their banking with First City Bank and Trust one of the wealthiest establishments in town, catering to the financial needs of the city's upper crust. The bank vault is a huge tower and I'm sure the safety deposit boxes are inside. Once inside the bank, I'll visit the hall of records and do a little snooping to find out which box belongs to the mechanist. Then I'll need to find a way to get inside the vault itself, grab the recording and get out. No doubt the bank is well protected by mechanist security machines, in addition to the usual guard contingent. Risky, but you know I've always wanted a good enough excuse to break into First City Bank and Trust. But I always thought I'd be taking the risk just for the money. I'm going to steal those wind chimes. All right, let's look at the difficulties. Guess I could turn this back on. There we go. All right. Normal, break into the bank. It's a large building, so they can't put a guard at every possible entrance. I mean, they, they can. Uh, you'll need to know the number of the deposit box the recording is in. Search for information in the Hall of Records. Is this the other thing that's randomized? I don't, I don't mind the randomization part, to be clear. I think that's clever, because if you come and play through again, you have to... You still have to search and you can't just go straight to like where the key is or whatever. So I like the randomization bit. It's just... I wanted to note it in the quest log because my memory is is butt cheeks. Uh, so we'll have to remember when we get the number for the deposit box, in case it's randomized, we need to actually uh, like write it down. Um, get inside the vault and steal the recording. Opening the vault will probably be difficult. Well, yeah, it's a bank. But once you get the recording, you're feel, uh, feel free to leave just at your own leisure. That's normal difficulty. Hard is the exact same. Wink, wink means it's going to change at some point during the mission. Uh, expert, killing people is unnecessary, but destroying mechanist security machines is not an issue. Uh, we're going to go with, again, hard. Because I want to be able to kill people just for fun. Again, I'm, I'm going to mostly play it like I'm on expert. Like I'm going to try to knock out guards. But a uh, mine. Uh, maybe a bit much. Sure, I'll buy the tip. Giggity. Uh, we have 11 moss arrows. Are we carrying moss? Are we carrying items over? From one mission to the next? I feel like we might be. I wonder if that was a change with the fan patch, because I don't think it did that. Cirrus, do you remember? I thought you didn't carry items over, but I feel like we are. Which I think you should. But um, we have 11 moss arrows. Because it seems odd to have 11 moss arrows and 14 water arrows. And I feel like that's about how many we had left when we were done. And we have three flash bombs. I get three mines? Good lord. The grenade is a pro proximity sensor and it will produce a fire explosion when approached. Once it's armed, you can only disarm it with your lock picks. Really? I didn't even know that. Okay. So a bank, again, means to me, loud floors. And we have 11 boss arrows, but we're going to buy some more. We already have three flash bombs. 
But we didn't keep healing potion. We don't have any healing potions. Uh, so we'll take one of those. Always good to have at least one. 14 water arrows. We're starting to run more and more into electrical lights. So I feel like water arrows are not be as good. However, there might be more of those uh, machines walking around because it is a bank. So we're going to get all the water arrows we can possibly eat. Three flash bombs sounds like more than plenty. 40 broadhead arrows seems like plenty. That's just the starting gear. Hmm. Yeah, it just seems weird that you would have 11. Not 10, not 15, but 11. Same with the water arrows. But anyway, um, let's see what you've seen before. Three mines. I'm pretty happy with what we got. Uh, so we can spend the rest on moss arrows. I have 400 left. Sure. Henry's come to see us. All right. Try not to whip the camera around as much. I, I can't not go in with that mentality because I'm just so used to doing it from years of, well, whipping the camera around. I have to turn the sensitivity of the mouse down. Jesus H. Christ. Apparently the funniest thing in the world just happened in Tallyland. Oh, shit, I almost flashballed myself in the face. Okay, cannot pick those locks. Oh, let's read the tip. G, that's me. The original G. The OG G. Tried me a creek. What? Tried me a creek at First City B&T come two years back. More than I... More than I was scoped out for. Tell you that, not my best of jobs. Had me a left little finger for that, for one. Trouble be, the place spent a full purse on the damn tile floors. Oh, God. Couldn't take a step back nor fort. Should I set up an echo to the roof? Had me a dream more a nerve. A dram more a nerve. Might have gone slow feet enough to get by or wait patient like till the thug men be passed. But no, had me to had me to go and raise a noise on that tile and out they jump no worry for you mate all your talents and your tap dancing shoes now for me well get me a coin and prick your ear same wise seems a fair trade holy shit what's wrong with english people my god how can british people be so bad at the english language you fucking made it and you just butchered it holy shit Y'all are terrible. But as I always say, the British created the English language. Americans got it right. We perfected it. Jesus Christ. Oi! A four into the orc. It's like it's might as well just be a different language. All right. I know we can get up there, by the way. I did not miss that. I'm just looking around. Hmm. Huh. Can go down there as well, obviously. So one way to go up, one way to go down. Smoke bomb. Join with me, guys. Oh, damn it. Throwing items in this game is, is kind of rough sometimes. I don't think it's going to hit him. What was that? 
He had, he had to come out faster. Because by the time the flash wears off, yeah. Because I can't go knock him out. And Garrett can't throw worth a shit. And with the pillar blocking his path there. Here's what we're going to do. Because I actually do want to knock these pieces of shit out. I mean, I'm sure they're nice guys. But this guy needs to turn around so that I can get closer. No, not... Oh, shit, tits. Why is this bank so heavily guarded? Damn it. For Christ's sakes, just go. Is there anywhere I can... You don't want the yellow one up there. Oh, actually, but who's there? Get out here where I can see you. Shut up. You can't yep. hide forever. The guy should stop looking here in a bit. I think there was three guards. Come to Papa now. <laughs> They're like, <sighs> you've made a big. Oh come on! You yeah, get out of it. Get out of here with that shit. That bullshit. All right. So we're gonna take those nerds out. We know how to do it now. But I don't want those dinguses getting us later on. All right. Garrett, please pull yourself up without making a racket. Thank you. So the reason I'm moss airing right there is that's where I'm going to go. That's where I'm going to knock him out. But I don't want to have to worry about making noise. So I want to be able to come up behind him and pop him in a row. I might want to use one more, but I think we're good with that. The swing animations are fast enough that I don't think it'll be a problem. Also, don't be... So it looks like the moss is spotty. It's very generous. Basically, that entire area is is quiet. You don't have to walk directly on the things. All right. Shit, it's actually going to be worse than I thought. Get wrecked. All right. So we need to hide these bodies, and I think I see a good place for it. Oh, shit. I like how they all have one arrow you can steal. They've only got that one spare, like Barney, like a medieval Barney Fife. You only got one arrow. That never made a lot of sense to me. Like in hindsight, if you watch the Andy Griffith show, because you're old. Why did he only have one? I mean, other, I mean, obviously, the real answer is for comedic purposes. But like, what, what was like only having one bullet going to do to stop? him from killing someone. I guess, you know, he would miss theoretically with the first bullet. At least hopefully. Alright, so I want to see if this guy turns the other way. Then we can sneak up and get close enough to flash grenade to take these guys out just for the hell of it. He might not turn that way. He might only go forward into the well, his left. We'll see what he does. 
Yeah, they're not a very smart patrol. What's up, Plan C? How was your Christmas? Wait, trashed it. Wait, in the note or how I did it? Damn it. I don't think he's going to do it. Now, we could also do some shenanigans. All right, first. Pay no attention to the sudden explosions of moss at your feet, sir. We're going to need a second one if we're going to do this. We have a lot of them, so I'm not overly concerned. <laughs> uh... Just make one mistake. Ah, damn it. I kind of thought that was a bad time to go. So he doesn't turn the other way, unfortunately. Alright, we'll try this like one more time. I don't want to... Take a lot of time to knock these guys out. Oh, that was not a good shot. The annoying thing is they don't really investigate the noise. It's like they kind of know where you are. Oh, he actually didn't hear that. Son of a... Come back Sorry, here. Like they do the thing where they kind of know where you are, you know what I mean? What the hell? Uh, wait, what? That didn't work? That should have knocked him out. All right, we're just going to skip on that. That should have knocked him out. I don't know why I didn't. Because he was not aware of where I was. He was not at a heightened alert state at that point. So he should have been knocked out, but whatever. He might have saw me maybe like a split second before I thwapped him, but uh, I'll, let's go check the other end. I want to check the other side. And then we'll we'll go. we got to case the joint first. But yeah, that should have worked. Even though they were... They hadn't seen... So like, again, the, the alerts kind of have multiple levels, right? Like, level one would be they just say something but don't change what they're doing. Like, they, if they're on patrol, they don't even stop. They just keep going. Tier two is where, like, they, they suspect you're there and they'll actually stop what they're doing and start looking for you. I don't think we actually checked this door. I'm assuming it's... It's locked. And I'm assuming what we to pick it. Because, I mean, it's a bank. Okay. We can. That was not expected. But they'll start, stop to look. That's if they see you enough, or they hear you enough, or they hear a noise enough. Oh my god. Yes, please. Slam the doors open. In my face. Oh, good lord. This definitely seems like the optimal way to come in here. Let's, uh, it's not. I hear guards. We're guards. So what are you thinking of, uh, I haven't played Last of Us 2, 
So, I mean, I kind of know the big spoiler, I think. I'm not going to say what it is for those who don't. But what are you thinking so far? I know it was... I, I think... I get the impression most people didn't like it. Most of the fans didn't like it. I feel like certain press, shall we say, uh, fawned over it for certain reasons. I don't know. But I, I, I get the impression it was not good. Though, to be fair, and I hate to say it, but I didn't think Last of Us was that great. It was good. Don't get me wrong. It was a good game. But I, when I finished it, I wasn't like, oh my god, this game was amazing. I was like, man, it was pretty good. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's one of those I need to play again to appreciate, but I don't know. I, I just wasn't that crazy about it. Wow, didn't even lock that door. Okay, so that's like three different ways to get in. <laughs> Clickers. Those were fairly annoying to deal with sometimes. I do want to play it at some point, though. I wonder if they'll bring that to PC. Sony's been been bringing some surprising exclusives over, and I think... Uh... Yeah, we'll go in this way. Fuck it. Will we go in this way? Uh, game? We... God damn it. I feel like there's a bug sometimes. Like your hitbox is there we go. It's not is like bigger than it's supposed to be. We're getting some good use out of those moss arrows. Here's somebody walking, by the way, that's why I wasn't moving. I, somehow, I, I had a train of thought on Last of Us, and I already lost it. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, I kind of want to play the game. Oh, I was talking about the Sony exclusives. And I know what... That was Naughty Dog. But Naughty Dog is basically Sony's bitch. So I wouldn't be surprised if... Do they, they don't own Naughty Dog, do they? Naughty Dog is just, well, their bitch. Or do they own them? I mean, they pretty much do, let's be honest. I want to see the map. Ooh, boy. This is going to be a level, boys. This is going to be a level. Holy shit. I think he's above us. Yeah. Yeah, if it, if it came on PC, I'd play it again. Just because, it's again, it's one of those games that's so... Uh, no, I thought this where we dropped the guards. But they're, you know, still very living bodies are not there. There's some guards up there. We'll come back. Theoretic, we'll come back to that. And we are... Okay. More areas means more money. I mean, not, not necessarily, but... It's not that well protected.
I'd say there's some pretty big security holes here, to be honest. Some people First. in this city are too rich for their own good. Lucky they have me to give them a hand. That's very kind of you, Garrett. Well, I mean, story is... I feel like st story is half of what Last of Us is about. Like, the gameplay is enjoyable and all. Shit, I hit... Seeing things. I knew he was coming around the corner. It's never really anything. That was bad timing on my part, but it worked. I just remember, like, seeing that rat made me think of in Dishonored. If you're trying to do a no-kill playthrough, don't you have to be careful where you leave the bodies? Because the rats will kill them. And then that counts against you. Am I remembering that right? I don't want to hop up there yet. We don't know if there's any guards around. I haven't been hearing them. Maybe when you find some little nook like that and there's there's nothing like a dropped dropped coin, like at least maybe a couple of coins. Like somebody dropped some money back there and it's got kicked or the or the the squirrels or the rats. I mean rats are basically land squirrels. I like the sound of that. Warning, maintenance machines active in this area. Oh, this random plate. I don't know if the machine, these machines can hear. Oh, for... That was a waste of a water arrow. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but... I need to get closer. They sure waggle their ass a lot. Makes them harder to pop. I want to try something. God damn it. Holy shit. <laughs> oh god. So I guess those are just what what is the purpose of those then? If they don't attack, I, I guess they might alarm the other ones. That was a really bad place to shoot him. Because now he's body blocking. Shit. 
it. For fuck's sake. Okay, I thought I missed that time. Good lord. There's a lot of these in here. They do talk a lot. Well, yeah, you can't always expect the story to go one way, but I think there's a difference between... And again, I haven't played it, so I don't know all the deets. Fuck, I knew I shouldn't have made that shot. Fucking goddammit. Fucking hate... Are you fucking... And it's probably not worth putting these out of commission, but I don't want to randomly aggro one. What are you little shits even doing? Whoa! I do not know. A wretched creature. Please be warned. A misguided soul. All should hear the words of Paris. The word oh my god. So many of these. I mean, yeah, was, I mean, yeah you, sometimes the story's gonna go away you wish it didn't. And that's fair enough. But I think there's a difference between that and, and feeling like the story was just not done well. And again, I don't know if it was or wasn't. This isn't making any noise. Remember, we were able to destroy the other one. There. It was in the, it was in the damn way. Hopefully that didn't aggro a bunch of little... bunch of little shits. More importantly, I hope they didn't aggro the big guy. Still, at least one walking around. Because there's definitely times it, the story just isn't like it's nonsensical or feels forced. For example, see all the wow stuff, all the wow story. Yeah, the impression I got was people were just not happy with the, the story of Last of Us. Partially because, one, I heard a lot of complaints it just wasn't well written. And, uh, and the other part because it just killed Forrest. Again, I don't know if that's true or not, but I do want to play it at some point. Kind of draw my own conclusions and all that. My face is pretty nonsensical. What? I can't play with that? Come on. Shit. Yes. Blessed builder's love and all that bullshit. Ooh, hey. That's a shame. That's a bloody fucking shame right there.
My God, how many of these things are there? Jesus H, there's so many of them. There's another big one over here, I think. Another big one. Maybe not. No, there's definitely another one. Because when we died that time, we saw two of them. to be do the political correct route yeah i don't i don't like i said i didn't i've tried to uh, try to avoid sto like sp story specific spoilers so that when i do play it it'll be you know surprise but like the i think one of, or at least one of the big things i've heard about oh uh, god damn you mm, both of them are heading this way too All right, which way are you coming? Okay, you go that way. You haven't seen shit. Shut the fuck up. You you waiting for me to go around there? I want to try something. What? That did that fly through him? It like went through his head. So let's try to shoot lower. Okay, so two fire arrows destroys them. Would you turn around? Please be warned. Yeah, I think he's stuck. God damn it. You finally get my water arrow out. Fuck off. Little shit. Holy shit, I don't think they put enough of these guys down here. All right. That should be most of them, at least. Please be warned, a malfunction. But wait, I thought Karis built you perfectly. Because if, they, if you were perfect, you would never have a malfunction. But that doesn't make sense. This is a whole lot of nothing, unfortunately. Oh, we did get some water arrows, I guess. But then we spent them all, plus then some, 
Wish we'd had to take all the machines out, but damn. Wait, that's where we came. Let's be another entrance exit out here. We did confirm that they can hear though. So it's they can't it's not just visual, they can hear as well. That's good, I guess. Good God. Random ass, like, corridors and shit. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm finding nothing of, of real value here. And there's no telling. Good God. Uh, if there's, like, somewhere up we can go? Ah, uh, fuck, fuck it. Let's just, let's just lead the way we came. Holy shit. That area sucks. Let's never, ever go back there ever again. Because it feels like mostly a waste of time. I'm sure there's some way to go through there and get up, but I don't have the patience to look for it. Okay, okay, this is where we... All right, we knocked that guard out. All right. Yeah, it's normal. Killed a bunch of robot guards. A thief simulator. You hear one of the, the cameras. I can't sneak up this ramp because it's too... Shit. As far as I know, you can't destroy these, I don't think. I will stealthily try to take it out. Okay, that does not work. Here's a long shot. Let's try a flash bomb. Wait, did it actually work? It does. It stuns it for a second. That's interesting. Okay. Not that I would waste the fire arrow on this, but I want to see if it does anything. Aha, uh -huh, so you can. Okay. Good to know. We found out some things. I actually quite surprised the flash bomb. It, it stuns it for like a second, so it's not very useful. Oh, shit. Uh, the Great Hall. Just like in Mazes and Monsters. Okay. No, 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 no. Run, 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 run. God, that's unlocked. Oof. Somebody's close by. These I don't think here. These I think you could be as noisy as you want, but. Close the fucking door. The doors in this game can be very frustrating. They either open up in your face all the time, or. Let's just go this way. None of these are great options, but. Uh, another one of these little shits? My god.
the stamp carpet. Stuff on the seats. Sniff the seats. See if you can discover any information. So we could probably rope arrow up there. Now we're kind of going randomly. <clears throat> this is why you save before you ever use rope arrows. Because the uh, grabbing of ledges and whatnot is often... What? Sorry, what? It's often very fickle. What did I hit last time? Okay. What? I don't know why sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's like there's very specific tile you have to hit. What the fuck? Wait, is it hitting the... I think it's hitting the hitbox of the, the lantern, even though it's not even close to it. I think that's what's happening. Yeah, that thing has a huge hitbox, I think. Let me just try to go way above it this time. Oh, it's because it's glass. I couldn't see the fucking glass. This definitely won't arouse any suspicions. Don't think you can hide for long. Listen. Windows break all the fucking time, guys. Okay, you rat for it now. They randomly shatter. Everybody knows this. Don't act like this is some weird thing. We'll probably end up redoing this because there's no way to get in there without shattering the glass. We'll see. Some things I think will permanently put the guards on alert. The Where the fuck did you come from? Well, we'll just we'll do that later. It doesn't really help us at all. Switches, nope. Sure, we want me to pick this. Oh, oh, never mind. Damn. Okay. It's got some money. Fuck off. Sure, sure. Uh, for the love of fucking Christ. Alright, he loading that. That was some bullshit. He like opened the door randomly as he walked by. Yep, nope, stop. Uh, oh my god, the doors. Holy shit, the fucking doors. Go over here so we can take this piece of shit out. Fucking hell. God, those little guys are annoying as shit. Just the hallway.
a guard somewhere. I think he's above us. Oh, that seems bad. You ever wonder looking at all this? Wonder what? Well, where all the money for the fancy marble and, and the carvings and the art comes from? From all the people who give the bank their money. No, no, no. If the bank spends it on fancy stuff, what if they want it back? Well, maybe some of them die first and never ask for it back. Well, what? could be. I keep my gold home locked up myself. Safer that way. I mean, he's got a good point. Even though what they do is they loan it out and they get interest. Uh, yeah, we did. Holiday went pretty well. I'm going to Moss Arrow because we know there's guard over there. God damn it. Oh, it keeps shooting even if you aren't standing on the thing. Okay, interesting. All right, well, can't go that way. Oh, I guess we could do like this. If the guard walks on it, do they get shot? Heads. It wasn't that interesting of a story, Plan C. Basically, I was going to stream yesterday, but I ended up getting home later than I wanted to because my mom was setting up a Zoom meeting with her relatives. And she is very technically constrained, not great with technology. So she wanted me to help her set the zoom up, but then that turned out to be a whole big thing. Beating hall. You don't want to keep this door open because they'll potentially see the bodies of the still living guards. I think the little ones are almost worse than the big ones. Like it's because they exist just to be a pain in your dick. Somebody's upstairs, I think. This is going to be a pain of a level, I can tell. Holy shit. He's just randomly walking around. Really?
Uh, fucking excuse me. That was some horse shit. You don't have to put marble everywhere. Drop a wine glass on the marble. That'll definitely they'll cancel each other out. It'll be silent. But yeah, other than that, I mean, I mean that wasn't even that bad. It was just you know typical family stuff. So it was not not a big deal. Fuck. Obviously, I know. Obviously. I feel like there's a secret in here somewhere. Gotta be careful that guy upstairs. I wanna take them out next. Oh, I see him. Okay. Is there a switch under here? I feel like it'd be a perfect place for a switch. Okay. The hitbox. Yeah, it's definitely a little a little weird on the the vents. I mean the vents are or the the exhaust or whatever you want to call it. It's pretty small to be fair, but that that seemed like I was kind of bullshit. All right, I did it over here because it's this is more in, in shadow. Come on, Garrett, for the love of God, buddy. By the way, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Stephen Russell, the voice actor for Garrett, also did the voice for Nick Valentine from Fallout Four. Okay. I think he comes out this door and goes to that door. Again, we got to be careful with the peripheral. So we got to pull up back here. And this is wood floor. Tier, tier two, I think. Hmm. Yeah. Strange noises. Fucking doors. Ugh. Friendly little tea bag -a rooney first. Another place up there. What? There's a bunch of... There's bad puns in that? In Last of Us? I don't remember that being a thing. Maybe I... Threw that out of my memory. Come on. Puns are terrible. And the people who use them are equally terrible. Or worse, possibly. Yeah, we're exploring just completely at random here. I know. I would say the wood is like a tier two sound-wise. Because again, they seem to hear it easier, but they still don't really turn around unless you're right behind them running up. And even then, uh, we might can make that jump. Oh, for <clears throat> fuck's sake, Garrett, please. Cramp the fucking thing. Thank you. Uh, no, I don't think he makes that. Luckily, that little bump kept me from taking damage, which not too worried about taking damage, honestly. I'm trying to do it in the middle so I can get to both sections. Hey, Low Kitty, how's it going? Hopefully, you had a good Christmas. Oh shit! There's a little pun book in it. Oh, sh <sighs> All right.
Yeah, when I'm paying attention a lot on this. Run, Garrett. Oop, easy, easy. I really wish there was a way to disable these little shitheads. But no, yeah, I sometimes I need mentioning or reminding. Good, glad to hear Christmas was good. Ooh, I didn't notice the freaking. Torch. I'm just so used to not even having the option. Ooh, Hollow Records. I think yeah, that's where we want to go. So you might as well head over there. It's like a strip of shadow here. more north it's that way yeah i thought i overbought water arrows a little fool i was all right we're gonna go that way next oh good oh tits find some useful information Let's see if we can toss this up here. Where the fuck did it go? What? Get up. Is that you? Oh. Huh. But I had more than that. Did I not pick up one of my other ones? Shit. It went to the ground. It. God damn it. I don't see any cameras. Don't see any guards. I need to remember to pick that up, though. I think we're mostly okay to walk here. I don't hear guards or anything around. I'm not going to bother getting those. I thought they modded to see you could put those out. Maybe those aren't the, the right kind. That's kind of loud, though. No, that was not a set, though. We'll just hope there's no guards around. Grab them. God damn it. No, I saw it. Plan C. I just chose not to acknowledge it. As it should be. Client box number. Lord Signali. Hey, there's the Guild for Exporting. The Widow's Hospice. Mechanist. Secondary Finance Box. Storage Box. Sergeant Bander. So we mostly want 10 and or 11. Thank you for acknowledging my work game with a ding dong. We may or may not explore this area fully. It's a little tedious to get around. Honestly, just a little bit. With all the ceramic floors. 
But we're starting to take guards out. The cameras are going to be the worst. The hell? <sighs> Switches in here? Damn it. Oh. What's that? Potted plant. Is that, that what that's supposed to be? Looks like you severed the head of Ronald McDonald and threw it into a pot. All right. I don't see any, like, book switches or anything. Those can be hard to see unless you're, like, right on top. I don't really think this kind of place would have that, but... What's up, Sarkran? How it goes? I'll check this, but otherwise we're going to head out. Because I don't think there's anything too too valuable in here. Other than knowledge, which is the most valuable thing, of course. All right, let's not forget there's a camera out here. I think I hear walking out here. I wasn't going to, but then I thought I heard walking. It might have been the torch. Good. Glad to hear it went well. How was your Christmas giving? It's Christmas giving. It's Christmas giving. I somewhat brazenly walk over this. Okay, no door over here. Nothing funny with this clock. All right. I love grandfather clocks. Always wanted one. My grandfather, fittingly enough, had one. Now my dad has it. And then when he passes, I'm supposed to get it. It's from, uh, it's from Germany. From when I, my grandfather, it was in the Air Force when he was stationed in Germany. He, he got it. And I imagine bringing that over from Germany was probably a pain in the ass. Which I guess if you're military, they probably have like ways of getting that shit over. You don't have to like ship it. I don't, I don't know. We don't have any keys, right? <laughs> Save deposit key. Had a badass roast with your parents? Nice. Are you roasting each other? Oh, I thought that was money. I hear walking. Or footsteps. Don't really hear the walking so much. I guess if they were like really fat, you could hear it like the the fat in their thighs, you could hear that going back and forth. Shit. Oh, it's on the carpet. That fleshy, best fleshy thigh scrape. I know all about it. Parcel. I hear there's a coppermonger on Center Street who's offering good price for halfpence minted more than 20 years ago. Something about luck charms. Guess the luck of the city has been pretty bad the past couple decades. What think you, the pair of us, go through the halfpenny stores after hours tonight? Damn cop coppermongers. Always mongering those coppers. I hear the machine out there spinning. Viewing out that speech impediment. Oh, hey! Exactly like I planned. 
It's all part of the plan. Ahem. You fat shaming me? There. Sits, 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 sits. Somebody's over there. Look, they walked away because they know it's good for them. Let's go this way first. Something's, somebody's below us, I believe. Uh, I played a little bit of Plague Tale Innocence. I never finished it. Yes, friend. I have task at hand. Tis my assignment to give to thee a warning. Please be warned before thou dost travel. I have heard. How can I help you? You. No, Praise Karis. I do not know. Be it true that thou dost travel from this place? I do not know. I have found an error. Oh, this is the front room. So that one's still working. He's just standing there, which is fine. I was going to use a fire arrow to take out one of those cameras, but I don't think it'd be worth it. I mean, it would be nice to be able to get through this middle room. But for now, I'm going to say no on that. We'd use up our last two fire arrows, which is not the end of the world, but... I can only imagine the security. He doesn't seem to see in this room somehow, which I'm thankful for. But I can only imagine the safety deposit box room is going to have a lot of shit. So I'd rather save our fire, fire arrows for that. Please be warned. A malfunction has been found in our perfect contraptions, which should have no malfunctions. I feel like there's a dichotomy here. Alright, there's a dude below us, so I'm not going to run. There's a camera in there, I just saw it through the window. God fucking damn it. Why can't the doors ever open? In the direction you want them to. That's going to turn the light on, which obviously we don't want. Oh, shit. We're still pretty lit up there. Like I can say, sometimes it can be really hard to tell if you're actually in the dark or not. Because, like, there feels like that should be fairly dark, but it's it's very lit up. Need to hurry.
keeper shield. The mini bots are blind unless you set them in the combat. Eh? They've seen me a bunch. A few times they saw me. I don't think they're blind. Because I've like bumped them into them and shit. Well, not bumped in. Well, I have bumped into them, but I'm pretty sure they've seen me too. I'll have to test that. Because I'm. I know they can hear for sure. But I was pretty damn sure that they weren't blind. We'll check that. A guard kind of close by, so again, we can't run. Yeah, I want to double check behind the statues and shit. Okay, let's go this way. Because that should lead to the central area. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> look at the way this carpet is done. We, we It wouldn't fit, so we had to cut it. The hell. <laughs> Night shift again, am I? You piss off the master banker or what? Nah, I'd rather the night watch. It's quiet, and I don't have to bow and scrape to the customers. Let me carry your heavy, heavy gold for you, lady fat bottom. <laughs> Here, let me take some of that nasty, heavy stuff off your hands, <laughs> don't tweak it. Yeah, and see the bosses aren't around to listen to us talking at night, either. Tell me to do that. <laughs> Lady Fat Bottom. You give you respects to Lady Fat Bottom. Fat bo Lady Fat Bottom makes the entire rockin' world go round. Shit. All right, there's a guard over there. Uh... All right, I think we can do some shenanigans here. Wait for him to go by. Ooh, hold on. Who put this here? Random metal floors. The hell? Alright, so we have a few things to check. Damn it. First, let's loot. That's the most important thing, is looting. It's always the most important thing, is looting everything that's not nailed down. Ooh, the vault's close by. I like how he couldn't pick the locks of a peasant girl's room in a mansion. But we can pick the locks of a door to a bank. Oh, this is that front area. Those guards are like right below us. That I never could get knocked out. All right, let's, uh, let's go over here first. I want to check that little thing. Close this door. Oh, there's not a door. Alright, this is gonna be loud. It's Deus Ex all of a sudden. I didn't ask for this. Yeah, hail the master builder. I know you're 
fashion sense is important to you, Garrett, but God, you gotta... Something. You gotta stop. You gotta stop wearing high heels for these missions. I will say, I, I feel like if you're crawling plus crouching, you shouldn't make noise on anything. Like, I'm willing to suspend disbelief in the fact that he decides to wear the loudest fucking shoes he possibly can to these, to these thieveries. But it just becomes tedious to... What is this hat? Uh, I'll drop down, but I don't think I actually care to be where this is. Nobody better be Stop right there! Ah. Uh, where are we? Why would I want to... Hmm. I don't know why I'd want to go over there. So that was mostly a waste of time. I heard that, you! But if you're going, like, the absolute slowest you can go, you shouldn't make any noise whatsoever. Because it's it's just tedious to do like this. That's the sir checking up on things. All right, I think we're all right. All right, let's go clear that room. We wasted a lot of water arrows missing those little shits. And we didn't have to take them out. It didn't sound like rats this time. It's rats. It's rats. The rats wear very loud shoes, too. <laughs> I shall hear the words of I do not know. One of them is pissed about something. Whoa, hey! Thy words, I do not know. Please be warned. See, he saw me. Uh. Okay, what's going on here? He heard me, but then he saw me. Because they run off when they when they become fully alert. I want to try it again, but I'm almost positive they can see you. Otherwise, their behavior is incredibly bizarre. I know they I, they definitely can hear you. That I I know for sure. God, I hate this. All those random conversations happening. <laughs> Quick save. Good lord. Oh, it's alerted he turns on the eye? That's super weird. I did not know that, though. So they're completely blind unless they hear something. Oh my god, would you please grab the fucking thing? I tried to have him pull up, but he just jumped instead of pulled up. Thank you. I want to put his little fire out, but we are really low on water arrows. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Ahem. Game? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> Curious. <clears throat> Ain't nobody got keys around here. 18 black jacket hits? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> go down! Go down, damn it! It still never will fail to amuse me how, like, some rooms have lights... With switches, some of them, like, you just can't turn it off. There's a... Speed potion? Yeah. Ah, for God's sakes. I get the patience to be dodging those little shitheads. Dang, interesting over here. A jar. Wait, gas arrows put the fire out? What? That that seems uh that seems kind of backwards to me. Ooh. Oh, sh shit. Okay. That camera doesn't move around much. I see where you're trying to lead me there, game. Right in the boiler. Hit yourself in the face of the fucking door. <laughs> the one, the one camera that looks at the most important part of the of the the bank leads to a uh, a safe. The vault isn't going to open until that locking bar is out of the way. Now just pick it. It's fine. Just use your lock picks. You can do it. Is a is a leads to a switch that's in the room right next to it to turn it off. I know gameplay stuff, but it's just it amuses me. More of amusement than criticism. Oh, that's a weird ass room for a bank or a ceiling for a bank. It's an item. Oh, um, let me check on that. Hold on. Oh, shit. I even checked. Let me try turning it off and then back on. There. Now, does it show up? I don't have any gas arrows. We don't... We didn't have the option for gas arrows yet. Oh, that's the one I... Put out a commission. A 
son of a... Stealth. There's a key. Uh, I don't know if I want to hit on on that. That feels like alarm. Save. I'll do it. Oh. It's just the lights. Wait. So it turns the light kind of off. So I guess it turns on... Oh, I see. I feel like there should be, again, a, a secret. Like a lever under the desk. Damn it. I mean, it had a key, which is nice, I suppose. Sold out? What? Hold on, let me look at that. That's bizarre. Yeah, it's saying it is paused. Oh. What? That was weird. Now it should be not paused. <sighs> I was going to say it'd be amusing if his own key didn't open the door. Oh, <gasps> Oh yeah, let me let me go grab the hats real quick. This stream deck was uh definitely a, a good purchase. All right. Moving forward. You don't see nothing. You couldn't get over here if you wanted to. I mean now you could. Oh no. Are we doing this? Are we doing this game? Also, I like how that guard was just like, huh, that, that door's opening by itself. Ah, well. It happens. Oh, okay, there is a lock on the other side. Alright, fair enough. So, did you guys get anything really good for Christmas? What's your favorite thing you got for Christmas? I'm trying to think... What mine would be. Uh, I got a lot of practical stuff this year. I got a lot of like the super warm woolly socks. Those things are fucking badass. I mean, I don't know if I needed six pairs of them, but I have them now. Uh, got some more barbecue sauce, like some kind of sriracha honey barbecue type thing. Is a guy nap around here? Nope. <laughs> yes, actually. There you go. Wow, the number one place to come for mines is the bank. Ooh, anytime I see this, I'm like, ooh, this might pull away to a secret somewhere. Uh, or as much as I want to keep him as our little elf on the shelf, archer on the shelf type thing. I don't know if there's anybody else that comes through here. You get VR? Holy shit. Nice. Which one did you get? <laughs> Ooh, that 
I, I landed just barely on the box to avoid noise there. Which, I mean, again, there doesn't seem to be anybody in here, but, like, landing on... Oh, shit. I'm gonna try something. that do literally anything. Nope. Okay. Quest 2. Nice. Yeah, I'm really... I'm trying to, to think... I mean, the Steam, she got me uh, Amazon and Steam gift cards. That's Those are always uh, great. Maybe I should use the Steam gift cards, buy more stuff on sale that I wasn't going to buy. Because, again, I'm, I'm trying to follow my rules. If I don't buy a game on sale, even if it's super cheap, unless I'm actually going to play it recently. Because I'm looking through my wish list, and like there's a couple games on there as like, two and three bucks and i'm like ah, i should buy that anyway i'm like well that's how you get in the situation to begin with with all these games it's like oh it's just three or four bucks i'll play it sometime and then years later i still haven't touched them i've heard the skyrim fallout is is actually pretty damn good They don't really put stuff on top of shelves very much, which is a little disappointing. I'll never be able to cross through here with all those security machines active. Jesus Christ. Maybe I can find a way to deactivate them. Yeah, I, I see it, Garrett. I see. I don't see where it goes to, though. Oh, I see. There, there it goes. Okay. Let's see if we can't work our way down there. Removing cast spells. I might have seen that one. Didn't play it, but I think might have heard of it. Right, fine, fine. No, no switches. I don't see any switches. I think this is that door we were trying to open from the other side. Like this will go out onto a balcony type thing. That ah, damn it. One of these days I'm gonna learn. Damn it! And doors. No. Oh, it was... Oh, okay, yes, I see. It was here that I was trying to go into. Gotcha. The Wizards Enhanced. Huh, that I have not seen. I don't think. Got so many rooms. That is one problem I feel like with games in particular is especially older games where it just it feels like the rooms are a lot of times just random. Like they'll just put like just randomly throw out just rooms to the side. Like even if the building you're in, like it doesn't make sense to do that. They'll just be random rooms just scattered all over the place. It's really bright. Hello? Is that you? Uh, gotta stay on my toes anyway. God, look at all this that we haven't explored.
Uh, oh shit, that was close. I didn't forget. How did that guy not see me climbing up that? Didn't sound like rats this time. It was. Jesus. Well. I have heard oh. Yeah, I stepped on the off the carpet for a second. I see that item. Jesus. This build or this map is big. Is this? Nope. I was gonna say. I, I was about to say that I had been here before, but I have not. Flim Flimian. I think not. As you say, may the best banker be selected. Oops. Flimian, surely you are being facetious when you say that Morrow has a good name. I don't doubt that given leave, Tyler would select his nephew as the next master banker, but it's not just you and I who realize that he has the aptitude of a frog. I cannot count the number of times I've overheard a clerk joking at some foolish remark Morrow has made. The idea that one of us be Master Banker instead is, of course, the right one. But your thinking is short-sighted, and I have a plan that will generate more wealth for us in the end. We will protest Morrow's selection as Master Banker, not so much as to prevent it, and we will recommend that each other be selected instead. Morrow will be selected as Master Banker, he will fail at that role miserably, and as dissatisfaction with him grows, so will confidence in the two of us. When the request that we replace Morrow, we hold out ostensibly out of prudence until, out of desperation, they increase the salary of the position to one and one half times what it is now. Only then will we accept. So what do you think of this idea? Yeah, Oops. Wait, Davil wrote both of those? I guess the other dude wrote something else. Wait, because you can't flip through that. God damn it. Nope, stop. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, I, we did that. I think this is the main room. The main entrance, rather. How many moss arrows do I have? Uh, I had a bunch. I have 15 right now. There's the pool. I mean, any good bank has a pool. Could you please? So he didn't quite see me, but he kind of did. All right, we got to take these guards out first. Just because I've been here only a few months, I think that they can just get away with pushing me around. I'll show them something. This is going to be tricky. Something like <laughs> what's there. Wait, was it me taking damage that caused that noise? No, I don't want to do that. What's there? <clears throat> Naked pictures of your mama. There's another guard somewhere. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's like it's time for somebody to get streamed been way too long rip 
And that's why we're not playing on Expert. Because I like the Drown Dudes. Yeah, I can start using them more. I just haven't... I used them a decent amount earlier on. I've been trying to kind of save them for areas that I would... I'm going to go like back and forth in, but I don't really know there's a lot of those, honestly. And I've got a bunch. However, one thing we notice before we started I feel like items are carrying over even though normally they wouldn't I feel like items are carrying over from like my previous missions I mean I think they should carry over but I, I think they normally don't ooh camera here a camera I think. I'm gonna wait. You're right. Yeah, I know about that. But I had a really odd amount of things like moss arrows and water arrows. Like it wasn't like 10 or 15. And I feel like it was the same amount I had left over from the previous mission. But not on everything. I don't know. It might have just been a weird coincidence that the numbers were very, very similar. But it's just, I don't know, it was weird. We're going to try something that is 100% going to fail. Unauthorized nuts in your mouth. All clerks, please refrain from addressing clients by name. Some clients have expressed nervousness that they, they are known personally, that the details of their finances are available to someone who would recognize them on the street. We must make a point of deliberately in, deliberate impersonality in all our dealings with clients. That's not shady at all. Fire a moss arrow? Oh, that's an interesting idea. <laughs> well, you can kill them with two fire arrows. That I know. I'm going to try it again, but I'm going to wait for him to get into a better position. I might have missed. The hitbox on the, the vent can be a little fizzy. Fizzy? I don't know. But if, if I wait till he stopped. No. It does make it look like he poops, though. So I do like that. Oh, you're pooping yourself, machine. Oh, you need a little diaper. He's like, no, it's not poop. It's a moss arrow. Oh, moss arrow. That makes sense. Of course, it's a moss arrow. Shut up. I'm going to tell mom. I didn't think so. All right. Let's hope. I beat the, the Autobot things because I shamed them. That's a victory in and of itself. Got an item of some kind. Hello? There we go.
The robot will leave me alone because it is so shamed. Nope. That one had money. Give me all your money, all your hugs and kisses too. Did you miss the days when they hired guards made of Weak, spongy flesh. Oh shit, there's two other saves. You didn't hear shit. Keep going. Switch a little too quick there. What we'll the wait for and do another cycle. The big ones are deaf. I guess we can test that in a second. Nope. <laughs> they are not. Blah blah blah. Karis. Blah blah blah. Karis is so great. Bastila, Bastila. The builder will join us on that day. He will reap tears of joy when he sees the shining purity the Paris has made. Come on. I wish I had like 200 water arrows for this level. Probably water arrows in that. These guys are sounding more and more like uh, tech priests or the, what do you call the, the metal priest dudes in Warhammer? Ah, the flesh is terrible. Tongue is terrible. Lips are terrible. It's all about the metal. Uh, God damn it. He's like stuck. Ah, for fuck's sake. Like zero momentum there. All right. Now for the ultimate test on this. Really? Oh, for God's sakes. They had a medal around the fountain. Thank you, Jolinar, for the 26 months. Much appreciated. Wait, why would I need a moss arrow? We got carpet right here. Oh, oh he unbugged himself. Thank you for the 26 months, Joel and R. Much appreciated. I was busy looking at that shit. Let's test this. Come here, you little shit. I'll show you dangerous conditions. Hey, it didn't take 18. Let's see if he says anything. 
Yeah, I don't want to use monster arrows there because we have carpet. There's a thief around. Sure as I'm standing here. Nice key you got there. One peep out of you, and that's it. <laughs> what? Okay, that should have also knocked him unconscious. Because he was not at full, uh, full alert. Somebody count these. I can't believe that actually works. I'm glad you mentioned that. <gasps> oh god. What? No water arrows? Y'all some buttholes. We're on a... We're also on... Uh, we're not on expert. We're on hard, because I wanted to be able to kill the guards by drowning them. Not the plant. I like plants. Well, that's great. We can get you one on the way home, Garrett, but pick you up some daisies on the side of the road. Wait. There's a guard over there, isn't there? Well, you better pick fast then, son. <laughs> they do look like Ronald McDonald heads. Ronald had that red afro thing going on. Items out of that one. Oh, that seems good. You didn't see shit. fuck out of here. Food folks and fun. You know the one McDonald's. How annoying would it be to work like at a desk with a ceramic floor like this? Like every time you move the chair it'd be loud as shit. I don't know what item I'm getting. Uh, let's see, water arrows would be great. We picked up another scouting orb somewhere, probably in the armory. We got four flash bombs. I just don't. I'm not using the moss arrows just because, like I say, a lot of these arrows I don't need them because there's nothing around, so I can. Because I'm usually listening out for guards and shit. So if I don't hear anything, I'm like, all right, I don't really need to. Moss it up. You missed some uh, impressive, if I might say so myself. So there, I did just hear a guard, but that's where the the actual like bank thing is. You did miss some sim semi impressive moss arrowage earlier. When I was taking the guards outside, out. This is like a perfect place for a switch. But then I, I've said that like a dozen times and found a zero. Did I open this? Yeah, I did. Should always be checking the desks for switches. I don't think these random ones would have anything, but. I like when they actually have switches that you can turn these things off at. Again, it's just kind of weird. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. And again, I get it's it's a purely balanced thing. 
Because if you could always turn them off, it'd make things a lot easier. But just from a continue it con continuity, there we go. Continuity perspective, it's weird. So this is all stuff to go outside. Yeah, we tried the, uh, we actually tried a flashlight on the camera too, and it stuns them. But again, not very long. Not really long enough to be that useful. Hey, who are you? Wow, that guard was quiet as fuck. Holy shit. Because I was just about to say, I, there's a guard around here. But he was making no noise at all. It was being stealthy. For fuck's sake. Oh, that's when I go to the outside. <coughs> Dome. I love how guards completely ignore those. It's just a woodsy lord here again. Don't bother. <coughs> oh, I have a tale of tragedy for the holidays. So, uh, my dad's a pain in the ass to shop for for Christmas. Because he does the typical, don't buy anything for me, use it for yourself bullshit. And I've even stopped giving him gift certificates because I would email him the, this, the gift certificate. He'd never use it because he'd lose it because he doesn't check his fucking email. So I just send him some Christy cookies instead. So I was going to do the same thing this year. I you know got it all set up, all that good shit. Uh, but I also ordered myself some because, I mean, of course I did. And but I, and I made it two separate orders because their website kept fucking up. I was going to make it two like one order with two separate shipments, which you can do. But their website kept shitting. The, what the fuck was that noise? The fuck was that? Did y'all hear that or am I having a stroke? Oh, hey, you're right. That is what it was. Thank you. That was 30 minutes? Holy shit. I thought I was stroking out again. This camera does have a switch. Can't tell where it goes, though. Uh, let's go into the dome. So I want to steal some shit. I don't think there's any guards up here. The dome. I mean, that's just this. It's just a room with a big dome. Damn it, Ronald. Relax. Oh, yeah. So I, um, I ordered, made two separate orders. And then my dad messages me on Christmas Eve. And I didn't really like I kind of browsed, you know, looked at it real quick. Like on Android, you can see the first part of the message. And I saw him like saying, oh, Merry Christmas. Thanks for the cookies. I'm like, OK, cool. So later on, I opened it and read it. And he's like, oh, thanks for the cookies. You really didn't need to send two boxes. I was like, what? I was like, I only, I only sent him one box. So. I checked my order and in the tracking and sure enough, they sent both boxes to him, even though I double and triple checked on the second order, I actually did have the correct address. So they managed to fuck that up. I I'm guessing what happened was they were probably rushing and they just saw the same billing address for both and soon both boxes were for his because obviously it's the same billing address but different shipping so i need to contact them actually uh and be like yo 
What the fuck? But yeah, they, they goofed. Because at first, I thought I fucked up and made two separate orders and shipped the wrong address. Which would be weird because I am very like paranoid about that shit, so I checked the address multiple times. But when I went and checked the emails and looked at each order, sure enough, I had them correct. But they just uh, shipped them both to him for some reason. So yeah, I'm gonna email them, and I don't know what they'll do. I don't know if they'll just because I didn't I didn't say anything to my dad. I was like, oh hey, you know, Merry Christmas. I didn't want to be like, oh hey, can you actually uh, ship that to me now, please? Because those are my motherfucking cookies. All right. So yeah, I was uh, not super thrilled about that. If you haven't had Christie's cookies, they are very good. They're expensive. You can uh, check them out at like Christie'sCookies.com. Not a sponsor, by the way. But they are uh, they are quite good. I will say they used to just come in like a box and like in a bag, like in a tin. And then in the tin, they were in a box. But ironically, they now do the same thing, but they individually wrap each one in plastic. And I have to say, I feel like they're not as good. Like they're still good, but I feel like they're not quite as good as they used to be. And I doubt it's because of the wrapping method, because it would seem like that would make them even you know fresher, of course. So I don't. You can't really see. I'm assuming it's going up. Here's what we're going to do. Your mama, shut up. Okay, the camera does move. I don't think that's really going to help us, though. All right, we're going to try something. It's going to be risky. But amusing, potentially. And really, at the end of the day, that's what matters. Oh, no, that's never going to work. It's way too fast. All right, I was going to, like, time it to go out there, knock the guard out, go back under the camera, shoot up a rope arrow, and then, like, pop out when the camera wasn't looking. But that's not going to work. It's too quick. I could. I was watching the, the thing on it. I'm trying to get up above it. Because that's where it looks like the switch was. It was somewhere up here. What room was that? That was... The Great Hall, right? Fuck, hold on. Because so I really want to get in that room. The camera moves way too quick. So that's the dome. It's a weird positioning. The vault here, so the, it, it's actually guard room, which is bizarre. I 
Hmm. Okay. This way. Okay. Okay, yeah, there's the dome room. So that room's over there. Yeah. Yeah, it's the VPN. And. I've looked to see if there's a solution, and apparently it's been going on for years. And I could not find a solution anywhere. No, you didn't. Shut up. So that's where we were. Okay. I think the camera angle is down a bit. There's a guard walking around somewhere. Stepped off the carpet for a second, so that means every single guard in the place is going to find me. Okay, yep, that's that. I know we're going all over the place, but... Yeah, I, uh, I did that. It's annoying as shit, but... And apparently not all VPNs have that problem. So that is uh, definitely not great. Here's some. But I, I want to hit that light switch. Thank you, my good fellow, fellow bankers, for your attendance here tonight. And thank you to my Uncle Tyler for picking me to be the next person who will be in the position of the master banker. Because he knows, like all of you do, that I will do the best job at that job. And then in my capable hands, the First City Bank and Trust will grow in prominence and wealth in the city. Our valued clients will continue to fill our coffers with their wealth, which will have use which we will have used to generate more revenue to improve our wages and our service to our clients, which are always improving. For that is really what our goals must be, and we must all continue to focus on the important issues at the bank, which are our goals, to make money and to please our clients. Wow. They were not kidding. He is an idiot. That's the guy that is going to become the master banker, but only because he's like the some dude's nephew or some shit. And they were talking about what an incompetent idiot he is. Hmm. Huh. Is that like a projector? We have not found any of the two secrets yet. I don't know it's projecting those blue lights, but it's not about it too hard. Okay, yeah, we've been here, obviously. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Shooting shooting arrows at it. That's really driving me nuts. I can't break those, can I? Actually, we'll do it this way. I have 70 broadhead arrows. Holy shit. Okay. I think I just broke the arrow. What room are we in? Does I have a label? 
I mean, you're going to try to tell me this doesn't open up? I have a hard time believing that. Very hard time believing that. Thought I saw a lever for a second, but obviously not. Still not convinced, but I also don't want to sit around here forever. to be finished magic spells well sir they they don't tell us the hours of the bankers who pay for the spare offices oh really that's very fascinating please t tell me more particulars about guard duties hmm well do you know about guard changing procedures uh, just get out of my office I thought he was further in. Yeah, I thought he was like further in the door than that, my bad. How else are the Rothschild papers to be finished? Magic spells? Fuck. Why do you even have a limp when you're crawling? Yeah, that was pretty much a waste. Hopefully the guard comes in here. Pillar is definitely not a secret. All right, good. Because that was driving me nuts. Disappointing. We're going to go back over there, don't worry. Okay, the lines all come here, then go down. Must be in this room. Yep. He knows the light was out. Fuck. I heard that. Stop right there. See, I told you, man, you cannot make any movements on this floor. It's very annoying. You might as well be fucking banging symbols together.
I already just pop down there with a moss arrow and run because I'm I'm over. I'm trying to get around these little fuckers. That guard's coming, but I think we should be concealed enough. Dickhead. Is that a different key? Uh, no. Well, that's always fun. Except the opposite of that. Yeah, there's two secrets. That I did look up before. I didn't really get a good look down there. Oh, for the love. Who wired this shit? Oh, for Christ's sakes. It's kind of over trying to get around this windy ass level. You messed with the wrong man. I was like trying to get to this one place, and you have to go up and down and around, and then you get there, and it's like, oh, actually, this goes back up. I'm like, ah, oh, for Christ's sakes! Like, please stop. Okay. Um, yeah, there it is, right there. Fuck. Let's deal with this. Let's deal with this guy first, possibly. Probably a silver key, since that's what the guard had to get in here. Come on. No whistling. You're not even working. You're just staring at your desk. Just doesn't want to go home with the wife, I guess. Sarkron, you know, one of the first things you need to do with your new VR, obviously, is to go on VR chat. That's what VR is all about. All about that VR chat. Meeting fun, interesting people. Having deep intellectual conversations. Discuss philosophy, politics, finances, history. Nope, no, no. I was just right clicking everywhere. All right. I heard him. I heard the guard. It's not up here, though. He's down a floor, I believe. Or up one. Hurry up. Oh, those little 
walking ones around. I'm going to leave that for now. I do need to get it back, though. How you doing? <clears throat> Come with me. I think one of those little shitheads is walking around. Yeah, there's at least one little gold goblet around. This is mounted plate. I killed it in the safari of Africa. Very proud of it. Yeah, VR chat's where it's at. That's where all the cool kids are. Security office. It's gonna say, don't tell me the security office isn't locked. Come on, how much security does a bank need? A little overkill. There, now the front is turned off, thankfully. See what we can find in here. Ugh. I like how he just walks over the guy's body. Anyway, let me tell you, have you heard about what a great guy Karis is? Boy, I could go on for ages. Oh, well, okay, well, you just stay stuck on his body, I guess. Have fun with that. Wait, how much? Wow, 1,200 on loot. Brother Ortham of the Mechanists. Angel Watch. Dayport. Captain Bluth. First City. Bank and Trust. Blah, blah, blah. Captain Bluth. Fact. The security of thy bank is double. Nay, tenfold what twas but a few months ago. And thou art paying fewer human guards for their valuable efforts. Thou owest this fact to us, for we of the merchant Mer mechanist order do believe in generosity, even when we, even more when it opens the eyes of commoners to the values of our goodly innovations, though the situation is not one of mutual benefits. Therefore, it didst pain me greatly to read that thou believest the level of bank security at present to be enough. The plan I outlined to thee most assuredly called for more security machines and for greater care and deployment than thou hast currently there. We of the Mechanist Order shall feel sufficiently confident in the safety of our valuables only when no humans be employed by the bank for this purpose. In particular, thou dost continue to protest the proposed changes to the vault door, so I shall take now the time to give thee a most full explanation of why it must be replaced. As previously stated, thy current time lock is a security risk, because tis external to the vault. Whence twas installed, the Hammerites chose to compromise security in the way, for twould be impossible to ever open the vault again in the event that the time lock experienced some failure. However, mechanist engineering far exceeds that of the hammers, and thusly our time lock hath many redundant timing mechanisms, any of which can complete to bring upon the opening of thy vault door. If tis too complex for thee, thou simply need to understand this. Currently, tis possible to manipulate the time lock to cause the vault to open ahead of schedule. The new vault lock will not be so grievously flawed, and there will be no chance of critical mechanical failure. Within a month, we shall send a team of engineers to thy bank for to upgrade the time lock and inspect thy security placements. I expect there shall be no further issues. Thy patrons and managers shall no doubt be pleased at the increase in security. Seriously, sincerely, Brother Ortha. Well, looks like you're a month behind on updating that lock. Luckily for us, as it turns out. So yeah, we still need to go down there and 
do whatever it is with the security lock, make it think it's daytime. I have half a mind to plead with Captain Bloof to ignore his managers and give that damn brother Ortham what he's got coming. Every time they come from a meeting, Bloof seems like a kettle about to boil over, but he follows his orders and treats Ortham with respect. When Ortham was in here last week, he was going, to, going on and on about this metal guards and faces, where to put them properly and such, how we are showing such poor judgment, and Captain Bloof just listened and nodded. In the six years I've worked here, not one security breach has occurred. Poor judgment indeed. Well, I mean, if it hasn't happened yet, if you haven't had any security lapses yet, that means you never will. And this is definitely not a security breach going on right now that I am personally involved with. Bonk. I knocked that table unconscious, or that desk unconscious. Get wrecked, table. Is he still... Oh no! Is he? <laughs> yes, we found this guard fornicating and doing debauchery with this robot. He had the robot pooping on his face. Absolutely disgusting. Make me sick. Oops. Look. Windows break all the time. You guys seriously need to understand this. <laughs> that robot down there is like, huh, something sounds weird. Yeah, I, I haven't forgot the rope arrow yet. I probably will soon. To security office. Yes, lead people to the security office as much as you can. What the hell is this? Hall of statues. This is a bank. Why do you need a hall of statues? Yeah, let's go get that rope arrow real fast. Well, I, I want to keep it, because I might need to get back down. Here, a robot. This is a gigantic bank. Look at that robot. One of those... Oh shit, tits. Oh god. Go, go, go. Fast as fast could be, you'll never catch me. Why is this hall of statues need? I think there was something a while back. Don't think you can hide for long. There's a thief around. Sure as I'm standing here. Don't make me come find you. Be on guard, because he's a guard. Get it? There's 
a thief around. Sure as I'm standing here. That's it. You what? He should not have seen me there. He one hundred percent should have not seen me there. Wait, where are we? Oh, oh, hall statue. Yeah, he one hundred percent should not have saw me there. Oh, that opens up. Cute. Oh, I see. I see him on the floor now. I think because he was alerted before, they were doing that thing where they're like hyper alert so that they can see out of the back of their heads. One secret is in the hall statues. I was afraid of that. Let me deal with this jackass. There's a camera out there, too. Be pretentious success yeah oh that's why i was like i thought i got out of way in time i did but the other one saw me <clears throat> who's there oh who's there all right You're in really i think i turned like a split second too fast what's there All right. So while that alarm's doing its thing, unless hold up, okay, that didn't even make a breaking sound. Try to get him to come over here. Is that a roof? It's so dark, I can't. Yeah, I think it's just a roof. Yeah, come down this dark hallway. Don't worry, I'll find you. That was a uh, solid snake. We could just be hiding in the box. Come on, jackass. We could arrow him to death, but and of course, the one time they go like away from you. Come on. Now, it might not work because he's alerted, even though it's supposed to work. Yeah. Like, that should work even when they're that alerted, but... something. There. I'm over it. Uh... uh, uh. I, I should have just flash bombed him. That'd have been easier. All right.
No. If I was a secret in the Hall of Secrets, I would either be a switch behind the statues or on the statue. They've done that before once. There was like a switch on the statue, which was weird. Uh, the pillar. Oh, maybe that opens? No, that one doesn't open. Those comical explosions. Oh, it shut back. Okay. Yeah, I did. All right, I give up. Where's the secret at here? Because I thought maybe it would be up there, like you had to trigger it and then hop up there with it. I don't think you can. I mean, I guess I could grab the box. I could grab the box and do it. Take a statue on the left. Oh, God damn it! How the fuck did I miss that? Repeatedly. What the fuck? What if I just flat out skipped it? I kept skipping it on an accident or some shit. What the fuck did it open? Oh fuck, I forget wait which way it was. Let me reload because I can't remember which way it was. I checked multiple times. God damn it. I it must have just I must have skipped it. All right. The fuck did that open? Now if I uh, maybe now triggering it. Hmm. I don't really get with that because it's not even. Oh, it's only back in the wooden hall. All right, thank you. That's so random. The direction maybe I don't like when the tramps like they're not like connected to anything logical unless it's that hallway maybe that's what it is it's something here god that's annoying I'm thinking it must be over there, because the only logical way this could be connected to anything would be on the other side of that wall. Are you guys done yet? Oh my god, hurry up. Thank you, fucking Christ. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing anything. Did 
Damn it. Remind me to come back in here. Oh, I have to get back over there. Oh, is this it? Oh, that seems like that's probably it. Is that it? Really? Wow, that's ridiculous. See, I really don't like shit like that. Where it's like some switch a hundred yards away that has no logical collect or connection to it. It's like, that's just dumb. Like, come on. It should be, it should almost always be close by or make sense. I don't like it. Like some random switch in the hall of statues opens some guy's like secret door thing. It doesn't make any sense. That's just ridiculous. Like, I don't mind the switch, but the, uh, they love hiding rings in this stage. Or no, it was, the, it was the last stage that they had like the one ring to rule them all on the ground. Also, what's up with this guy? Who the fuck is this dude? But yeah, I, I hate that shit. Typically the game is not, usually the game is really good about not doing that kind of thing the hell was that it might have been a i think that was a arrow of some kind the game's usually pretty good about that usually the secrets make sense and it's close by this one was completely random it's not even anywhere anywhere near where that switch is we get this annoying hallway again We'll continue checking this room out. Because there's that locked door. Yeah, that's the thing is like, I mean, I can just spend disbelief in a lot of things, but there's something about like switches that are just stuck in random shit. Especially. Like I was talking about earlier, I think in Thief 1, there's a statue that's stuck in a, or a, a switch that's jammed into a statue. It's like, what the fuck? That makes no sense. I mean, you could argue that, oh, well, they like hollowed the statue out and they've got a bunch of wiring in there or something. But like, come on, like you were just trying to find somewhere to hide this thing. Let's not pretend that it was anything but that. You know, thought that would be a cute place to stick it. I really wish you could destroy the cameras. I mean, you can, but it, like you can't like break them. Uh, you can't see me from there. Like we tried to break it with the sword and they are uh, apparently impenetrable. All right, fuck off. Okay, so that's just where this leads. Okay, good. Oh my god, there's still a room over there we missed. I don't see any doors to it. Good god, this place is huge. Yeah, you can use fire arrows, but I don't have many. I've only got two left, so I was trying to save them. Alright, so there was... Some place over here. Southeast. Leave 
leaving that because that's probably how we're going to get down. Oh, wait, what? Looks like there's stairs to that. I guess. Oh, I see. That's probably them. Yeah, it looks like it is. Uh, all right. So let's head back down. <gasps> I think we're going to get this one back. All right, let's head east. Ooh, actually, hold up. I was going to say, I don't think we went in this room. Another key to our collection. You have so many keys. Not, not the tray. Yeah, you can go ahead and tell me the room the next one's in. Because this, this stage is a bit a bit much on the, the size. This is like bigger than I would really like for a, a stage. It, it, it's not just large again. It's just the way it's put together. The rent, the rooms and the layout is just random as fuck. So it's really hard to keep track of where you're at. Because it's just... It's just like they took a bunch of like random rooms and hallways and threw them into a random number generator or a, just a random like stage generator. So I don't really I like large, larger stages, but this one is just fucking so hard to keep track of where you are. But one nice thing is it seems like there's a lot of multiple paths, so it's not like you go down this long windy path at a dead end or whatnot. So at least there's that. I have oft wondered these past days why Master Banker Tyler has been in such a disposition. Frequently, he comes in late or not at all, and his former liveliness is gone. For weeks now, he has seemed to droop and mope, his spirits quite downcast. Though he has passed the prime of his life, not so his career. In time, he could rise to a new pinnacle of wealth and power. At first, I thought he was forlorn that the bank did not ride the financial winds of change in the city as best it might, that change marks an opportunity for wealth that we have missed. I thought perhaps Master Tyler erroneously took on a burden for being neglectful. But now I fear that his situation is worse. That misfortune has fallen him or his family. Hmm. What's going on with Banker Tyler? Oh, the music room? All right. Oh, shit. Let me go back real quick. Because, yeah, honestly, at this point, I'm just kind of going through the level. I, I, I'm not going to necessarily explore the entire stage. I'm kind of at the point where I'm, I'm kind of done with it. But I, I still want to explore, so it, it kills me. It goes a little both ways. All right, let me see if I can. Is it behind or under a chair somewhere? Let's see if I can... Missed the blatant switch like I did last time. <gasps> That's a pressure plate.
the right side of the upper platform. Oh, there it is. Now, see, that one makes perfect sense. I mean, it, it kind of does it because it was just stuck in the wood, but it's at least was close by. Thank you. I should have seen that one before, though. Missed another obvious switch. But like I said, I'm just kind of at this point blowing through this level because it's, it's, it's wearing on me a bit. Because I get, I guess, I guess it's, I just get mentally drained when it's, when a big level and it's, like I say, it's, I can't, I'm constantly feels like I don't know where I'm at. I'm just kind of wandering aimlessly. Yeah. Good thing it was dark. There's a sign. Some money. Of course you would just leave money around randomly. It's a bank. It's like leaving random candy in a candy jar if you worked in the candy factory. Okay, that is not carpet. <laughs> I guess what it was. It's some loud fucking carpet. Oh yeah, the pool room. But Randy down there is taking a little dip. Forever. Uh, this is not a bakery. We'll, we do not throw in an extra coin for every 12. Individual logbooks will be audited weekly. Well, baker's dozen joke there for you. For all the bakers in the audience. Some coins I just about missed. Okay. Meeting hall. Holy shit. Uh, oh, wait. No, I think this is one of the first places we came to, right? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's probably some something up there in the rafters, but... Arst, I cannot be. Thank you. Okay. It's like a closet just to hide in. We didn't find more water. Ooh, we did find more water there. Nerd. See, a real guard would have caught that. A real boy. Okay. Oh, that's right, meeting hall. So I check this room for more stuff real quick. Cove. All right. As soon as you pass back, we'll head out. I think we're going to start heading down so we can open the safe. Okay. 
like a, probably like a coat closet. I heard it right as I walked out. I was like, oh shit, there's cameras. I was gonna go bump that little shithead. Mm, there's a door we haven't been in, I think, but fuck it. Should you really be worshipping Karis? I mean, if he's just like a prophet or whatever, I don't feel like you should be worshipping him. Downstairs. Body block, body block. Your mom's a malfunction, bitch. I wonder if the sword would actually do that faster. Oh, right, that's the, uh, the thing, the, that. Damn it, they're having a conversation and I'm missing it. Uh, cause yeah, I mostly just want to get, get down now. Two guards down there, I think. This is gonna be something. Game. So I got it keeps like throwing them on I don't know what it's doing. Shit, shut up. Holy shit. I have four healing potions. Oh, that's right. We bought two. I thought we only bought one. Yeah, the thief's under the building, technically. All right, let's see if we can find that damn safe thingy. Oh no! How did you guys get here? <laughs> Those guys. Alright. Let's find out. We gotta get back in. And then go down. Oh yeah, we do have mines. I forgot about that. Good point. Let's see if we can see from here a good hint on how to get down. Ah, there we go. Could it be the one thing labeled to basement? That might be a slight hint. I know, I just like to see somebody like walk in and you're just like chasing this guy. Bashing him with a club. Oh, ah, it's this fucking. Uh, 
We didn't we didn't turn that off. I'm about to just say knock this guy out and fuck the camera. I don't care if the camera sees us or not. Oh. Alright, it's that guy. Alright, can I see a way to turn that shit off? Don't mind me. Oh, here's the front door. What's going on, I tell you. Yeah. Boss arrow. Him, don't fucking throw another one. Pick him up. Jesus Christ. You ain't see shit. Go back on your... That's what I thought, bitch. That's what I thought. Oh, damn. We were even down here before. Ugh. All right. So the vault would be to the northwest. Oh yeah, this is where they had the 8,000 different uh, little mini-dudes. So this way. Or not. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have one from the basement. Or just west, because I think we're already pretty north. I wonder if it's that lever, or not lever, but the... Like the turn crank dealie that we saw before but couldn't interact with. Authorized personnel, huh? It looks like this is the one area we missed. I would say, I'm going to get out of here because it all just seems to loop on itself. But apparently, this was the one area we were supposed to come to. Ah, damn it. You know what? Jesus. Those things slide like they, uh, like they're greased. What a weird contraption. Let's see what these controls do. Ah, one of these numbers. Let's see what's going on with this guy first. Oh, wait a minute. You just standing out there like a creeper. Oh, I guess he did walk on them. Okay.
I need my lockpicks. I love to use the lockpicks to disarm them. Is that a mod thing? I feel like that's a mod thing. We have to be careful because I think our minds can trigger on ourselves. And we tossed a couple. And God only knows where they slid off to. Oh, there's one. I knew I tossed another one. I don't like how it sounded like I threw it. That freaked me out for a second. I was like, oh shit. Alright. I didn't notice it blow up. Alright. We're going to do the thing, I think, where you have to make them all up. Or just hit them at random until it works. I was actually, I was trying to get it set up so I could learn how they work, but hey, that works. I'm done with that. Ah, I was hoping against hope it would open the grate, but... But yes, yeah, so how fitting that the one place we didn't come was the one that we needed to go to. How appropriate. Okay, let's go back up. Puck Mines, that's a pretty ap apt name. So now we just head, head east. Yeah, because we even came into, like, I even came into this room, or at least I saw it. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I saw that note and I thought we were, I think I thought we were back at that place that said maintenance area or something like that. And I was like, oh, this is, we doubled back, but I don't think that was the case. I think I just saw the note and thought it was the, the same area. And that's why we never went down there. We could have had that all like an hour and a half ago. I'm kind of trying not to... So, remind me, right before we end the mission... Remind me to, like, do an inventory check. See how many, like, flash bombs, moss arrows, and all that shit we have. Bonk. <coughs> Bitch. Motherfucker. <laughs> Great circle there. One might even say a perfect circle. Okay, so we gotta go south. You again? Shut up. Oh, for the love. Never. Dangerous conditions. 
Looks like it takes two. No, I don't. Have that one, bitch. Hey, fat ass. Come on through the door. Finally stepped on it. Alright. Let's grab these back. I really feel like this lock picking the mines to get them back is a mod thing. I do not remember that being in the original. Not that it's bad, but. There we go. Thank God. <laughs> now I know I'm a master thief, waltzing right into a bank vault. Time to find the recording. Uh, I know there's another one up there, but... I was going to say, surely one safety deposit box doesn't open all of them. Hmm. So is there a way to open these? Other than, I mean, obviously his. But I wonder if you can open any of the other ones. Maybe not. Maybe they're just there to entice you. All right, let's find out which one his is. Wrong one. Uh, 10 or 11. Of course it's on the top floor. Wait, how the fuck? Oh, I was like, how the hell do you get up there? Yeah, I knew it didn't happen in the first one, and I didn't think it happened here either. And like I said, it could have just been coincidence that the items that I had were very similar to how many I had before, but... Look at this phonograph. You're welcome. But I would think your lockpick should open all of them if that would work, right? Okay. Yeah, well, we have a, a box. We had a key for his. Right? Not all of them. I don't care. Shut up, alarms. Everybody's dead. Just get over it. Yeah, the security box is the open them for the other ones. I'm beyond the point of caring about that. All right. Uh, we do still have to worry about those guards outside. Then we'll probably just... Ah, flash bomb their asses. Oof. 
Thank God. That was a fairly tedious mission. Like, not bad, but again, just a combination of being a huge map, plus just the rooms being random as all fuck, made it a, a bit of a slog by the end to get through. Like, at the beginning, I liked it, but, like, just as we kept going, and it's just like, there's more, there's more, there's more. Which, you know, normally you'd think that would be fine, but it's just, like I said, I, I can't keep track of what I've explored and what I haven't. So it's like just mentally draining to be undercovering random looking uh, sections. How are, how are we doing on loot? Eh, we missed quite a bit of loot, which I'm totally okay with. At that point, I was just ready to go. Uh, we missed like 400 in loot, 460-ish in loot. Uh, let's see, we did get one kill. We'll kill one person by drown by streaming, which is our way. Destroyed tons of those metal beast shitheads. Oof. All right. I am, in fact, out. Yeah, I wish that security box key opened all of them, which, again, wouldn't make a lot of sense. Like, that'd be a security flaw. Like, you get a security box key for your security box, but it opens everybody else's, too. That would be uh, maybe slightly abusable. But I wonder if there is a way to open at least some of the other boxes because it's it's super tempting like it's really disappointing if there's no way to open those boxes because i mean that's like the thief thief dream right like all those security boxes at your disposal but oh well anyway 